Hey everyone, so today I've decided to do an everyday spring makeup look. I really enjoyed making this look today, so if you want to see how I achieved this look I am wearing, then continue watching. To prime my face, I'm using the Napoleon Pertis Auto Palette Pre Foundation Primer. And after this, my camera stopped recording for some reason, but all you've missed is that I've used the FG15 Contouring and Concealing Palette from eBay, and I used the green concealer to cover up my blemishes. And now I'm just using the DB Long Wear 24 Hour Foundation Full Coverage in the shade Classic Ivory, and I'm applying this all over my face with a flat top foundation brush. To conceal under my eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Fair, Fair, Fair Claire and I'll be blending this out with my fingers. To set the areas that I'd usually highlight, I'm using the Thin Lizzy Airbrush Veil in Light and I'm just applying this with a damp beauty sponge. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Australia's Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in Light Beige. To add some warmth and colour to my face, I'm using the Bow Beauty Bronzing Powder in Glow and I'm applying this under my cheeks, around my hairline and along my jawline. Contour, I'm using the Catwalk Complexion Compact Powder in Biscuit and I'm just placing this in the hollows of my cheeks and later on I actually contour my nose but my camera wasn't recording but I just thought I'd let you know anyway. Moving on to the brows, I'm using the Morphe Brow Gel in Bare. Now that my eyebrows are done, I'm using the Natio Clear Brow Finishing Gel and I am just setting them in place, making sure they don't move everywhere. Using the Morphe 35W palette, I'm taking this very light beige colour and I'm just taking this throughout my crease and kind of placing it all over my like eye area. Taking this baby pink colour from the palette, I'll be putting this throughout my whole crease in and to outer corner using a fluffy blending brush. Using this warmer pink shade in the palette, I'll also be placing this throughout my crease in and to outer corner. Going to my mini Morphe palette, I'll be taking the eyeshadow in Mysterious and I'll be placing this on the outer V of my eyes and I'll just be blending this out with a fluffy blending brush.
taking the shade Spice, I'll be placing this in my outer V as well as blending it throughout my crease just to add more warmth. I'm now using the shade Wink for Pink, which is this very, very light pink shimmery colour, and I'm just applying this all over my mobile lid. Going back to the shade Mysterious, I'll be using a dense eyeshadow brush and I'll be applying this as close to the lower lash line I can, keeping it to the outer third of my eye. And then to smoke that out, I'm using the shade Spice again and I'll be doing this with a pencil brush. For blush, I'm using the Bow Beauty Blush in Pink Goddess, and I'll be applying this to the backs of my cheeks, avoiding the apples of them. To highlight, I'm using the Bow Beauty Shimmer in the shade Highlight, and I'm applying this on the high points of my face, so the tops of the cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and a little bit on my cupid's bow. For lashes today I'm using the Essence Lash Mania Mascara and then for false lashes I'll be using the Tiffany lashes that I got from Kmart and I'll be sticking them down with the Lash Studio Clear Lash Adhesive. Now that my lashes are dry and stuck on, I'll be applying a few coats of mascara to my lower lashes. For lipstick today, I'm using the Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in Coral Cooling. Over the top of that, I'm using the Bow Beauty Lip Lequeer Lip Gloss in that Glamour, and then you're done. So that is all today for my everyday spring makeup look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, please leave it a big huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.